Hi viewers, hi viewers. This is Sri Ramlu. So today's topic is solid state detector, right? Solid state detector. What is a solid state detector? A semiconductor junction device used. Sorry for this disturbance. A semiconductor junction device used as particle detector is shown in figure. See, it is a particle detector. The detector consists of a and P and junction, and it is formed between P type and N type. It is formed between P type and N type. Okay, P and junction. It is a junction. In between forms between P and L. When a battery is connected across a junction with its negative terminal connected to the P type and a positive terminal connected to N type. So that means see what is saying reverse bias only. See battery negative terminal it is a positive, positive is connected to negative, negative is connected to positive through R. So it is reverse bias. A depletion region is found within this uh, within the device as shown in figure. Okay, then deflation region will be formed. Means uh, here, electron hole pairs will occur. No single electron, no single hole will uh, will form, uh, will be available. The deflation region has uh, no carriers of either sign. Either sign means both sign. No carrier of both sign means uh, no cannot present uh, cannot get plus charge and cannot get minus charge. Okay, here only combination will present. That is recombination. When charged particles enter into this depletion region, they interact with the electrons of crystals. Due to this, uh, see here, uh, when charged particles are coming like this and falling on here, then they interact with the electrons in the crystal. Due to this interaction, electron hole pair will be generated, will be uh, electron hole pairs are produced. Suppose electron is coming outside, then here vacancy will pre present, that vacancy is called hole. Like this electron hole present, or hole pairs are produced. The charge carriers means uh, electrons are holes, are then quickly attracted away by the electric field. Okay. Suppose electrons are produced, electrons have travel this side, why? Because they are negative to this side, so and attract with the positive charge. And holes travel this side and uh, attract with the negative battery so like this here electrons are attracted with the positive terminal and holes are attracted with the negative terminal so like this when electron is coming like this when through the uh, resistor then it produces a pulse or uh, develops voltage thus they produce voltage pulse across the resistor okay so when charge of particles electrons traveling like this it produce voltage pulse one pulse will be produced like this okay or like this pulse thus this output uh, depends upon the number of carriers collected okay so output of uh, this uh, here where are his here so this is output when electron is coming like this it produces one pulse okay this appears here it is a generally output side Here it is essential that incoming particle must lose all the ki their kinetic energy within the depletion region only. Here what is happening, you know, suppose pulse or electron has to present when a charged particle is coming and uh, falling on the depletion layer, then they produce electrons. Means when they are striking to the electron, means interacting means striking to the electron, they have to lose total energy. This total energy will be used by the electron, then electron come outside. Coming outside, electron is travel like this and reaches to positive charge. And here, vacancy will create. That vacancy travels. Vacancy is called hole. Hole travels like this. The output pulse is then amplified and is either measured or counted. Okay. Here, uh, when Electron is traveling like this, it produces one pulse. That pulse is given to the amplifier. Amplifier, suppose pulse is created like this one. When it is given to the amplifier, it makes like this, big in size. And this bigger size are either counted or measured. 
okay counted means a one two three like this so in this manner number of particles each charged particle can produce one electron and one electron can produce one pulse like this uh, number of uh, charge carriers can be number of particles can be counted so that is why it is uh, are detected so that is why it is called solid state detector okay friends thank you